So basically, I'm being very Sagittarius right now. And I'm taking a random solo little little trip, little road trip. Only about four hours. I've just been feeling like I need to take a trip somewhere. I saw this place. I was looking for some nice like hiking trails and parks and stuff like that. I'm just gonna go to San Francisco, but then I saw this one place a little more up north. Like this drive through tree thingy majig. I don't know, it looks really cool. I've never been there. I don't know what to expect. It says that it's open, so I'm going to take it for a spin. This morning I got ready and then I went to go get a coffee from Phil's. I got my go-to little mint mojito. I'm gonna take you guys along and hopefully it turns out really well. I feel like this is a good compromise because I'm not going on a big trip that I want to and it's like low commitment. I don't have to like book any rooms or hotels or nothing like that or Airbnb. I could still get that um, that feeling of travel. I sometimes get in like this cycle of staying in my home area or just going to the gym and going to work and going home and goes on repeat like it's Groundhog's Day. I figure like, I don't know when I'm gonna get my next like free weekend of not having anything to do. I'm gonna treat myself. So right now I gotta go, <laughs> of course, get gas so that I'm a little more prepared because I did not uh, plan anything. Also, it's 12 o'clock. Um, and this is a four hour drive, so it's gonna be pretty much most of my day driving there and driving back. All right, y'all, tank is full. Home is decently charged. Like I said, I didn't plan. Literally, I just made this decision to go um, maybe 10, 15 minutes ago. I haven't ate breakfast yet. I packed a couple of granola bars and protein bars. Pretty sure I'm probably gonna have to stop and get like some actual food. Really planned, we're just gonna see how this goes. I hope you guys have buckled up. Okay, so I had to make a pit stop pretty early on because I had to pee really bad. Yeah, I missed my exit and where I had to get off the freeway to get back on to go the right way there was a nations on the side this is clutch because i have to pee really bad anyways and i should probably start to get stop to get food did that i just got some eggs and toast pretty much i just did sides on my phone i'm at 50 percent now by the way so that is um unfortunate but mm. Update, I am 25 minutes away, finally, it's uh, 5 minutes till 4 and it feels like I've been driving all day because literally that's all I've been doing. It definitely feels a lot longer than the four hours that it said. I don't know why. It feels like I would have been in LA by now. And I'm approaching where uh, my sister used to go to school at. But I don't know. Maybe it's because I left in the morning when I went to go visit her last time. This time, even though I'm like not far away from there, I definitely didn't feel like the drive took as long. When I was up here last time. Right now I don't have service, uh, which is why I'm talking, because <laughs> I was trying to let my music play, but it just was, it was not going through, so it's still loading right now. But we're almost there. Oh, Whoa, yeah. there it goes. Right. <laughs> so I arrived, um, I just paid the toll. I didn't know there was a toll, or like an entrance fee, it was $10. And not gonna lie, this looks pretty freaking sketchy. Glad that I managed to come here at the time that I came because uh, this, I almost didn't go through the entrance because I was like, okay, this cannot be a road, but it actually is. But I'm gonna get in and get out because I did not, oh, I thought those bears were real. Why did they do that? <laughs> Oh my gosh, I lost my train of thought. Yeah, I almost wasn't gonna come on the entrance because I waited to see, I waited until I saw another car go through because I was like, this could not be an actual road. 
Um, so hopefully this is worth it. She gave me a tag for to go through the gift shop as well. But I am so confused. Like this should be a hiking trail, not a drive-through trail. These things are so narrow. So this is the tree. Dang, I kind of, okay, I'm gonna park it so I can pull my mirrors in. Just go through. Whoa. That's so cool. Okay, this is actually pretty pretty. Alright, so I'm gonna stop in the gift shop and hopefully they have a bathroom. And then I'm just going to head back out. Can I park right here? I have no idea, honestly. I'm gonna do it anyways. Baby, I'm trusting you. I'm trusting you. Fighting on my mind, fighting on my life for you. I'm trusting you. able to pee thankfully and their bathrooms had really good tissue um so as you guys saw the tree that we drove through i thought it was like a bigger thing but it's not this is actually pretty nice they have like a little park lake thing it's very it's a lot of like dogs out here walking um it's definitely not what i expected but it's really nice stretch out a little bit and then drive back before it gets too dark because I'm kind of scared to drive through those windy roads when it gets too dark. It's kind of underwhelming. <laughs> Literally I thought we were going to be driving through like actual like a whole like cave or something but you kind of just drive through one tree um but I guess it's cool to check off my bucket list I think it's just because I'm getting really hungry so I'm kind of like ready to go but I'm glad I was able to say that I drove through a tree cool the drive was nice even though it was long it was nice to kind of get that serotonin and bump music and just drive through a bunch of trees and windy roads but I think I'm gonna stop in wherever like a rest stop or something to try to grab a meal unless they have a small like cafe or something around here I would like need a meal um, it's such I feel like I came at like peak time because the weather is amazing it's not hot it's not cold uh, the Sun is starting to set a little bit so it's like peeking through the trees I feel like this would be such a great place to meditate <laughs> but I don't feel like meditating because I'm like really hungry I just ate my last um, protein bar oh they're so cute taking their pictures I should have took a picture right there I might have to get out and take a picture right there by the log um, but honestly it's not what I was expecting I should have looked on the on the site more but like I said it was an impulsive decision that's a big dog um, but yeah, I'm about to stop, get like gas, um, snacks or food or whatever is nearby and then head back 
this was just really just a quick little thing because I just wanted to get out and do something. I think it was worth it even though it was kind of underwhelming. <laughs> it was kind of cool to just do like a solo mini trip and I'm not looking forward to this drive. They're so cute honestly like this old Asian couple is trying to take selfies together by the log. It's so cute. Even though it was underwhelming, I feel like it was nice and worth it just to say that I did it <laughs> and just to kind of get that experience. And I think it would be even better if I wasn't hungry right now. But I'm not looking forward to this drive back because going here, it felt really long. Like it, I feel like I'm in LA, even though it was only four hours. So I definitely wouldn't have been in LA, more like, I don't know. San Luis Abismo area probably I'm gonna this camera is blinking it's gonna die any second so I'm gonna head back phone is on 34% but I got um, a portable charger as well as a car charger obviously but car chargers do absolutely nothing so I don't know